So I showed you how to translate this to the intermediate extension method syntax and then to the static method call syntax, the same way the compiler does. I think it really helps to do a larger, more repetitive example to drive these concepts home. So I'm actually going to do that. It's going to be contrived. It's not going to be very realistic at all, but, but it should be interesting. So I'm going to say uh, where, let's see, we already have where n less than 5. I could say uh, 0 less than n, so maybe we had some negative numbers up here, negative 2, you know what, ideally I would say and uh, 0 less than n, alright, and and in fact I would I'd probably want to write it just like this here, okay, but so now we have a span, we can see that n is greater than 0 less than 5, but I, I'm trying to do something contrived, so let's just keep rolling with it, where 0 less than n, and where, uh, I don't know, new random <laughs> dot next, uh, equals <laughs> 23, you know, it doesn't really matter, I can wear all day long here, um, <clears throat> let's do an order by, order by, uh, let's order by n, and then, I wonder if I can say order by again, I've never tried this, I don't think, but, order by n, uh, times 2 plus 3, uh, order by, uh, I don't know, 5, <laughs> And I could go in all the details of what would really go on in here, but but that's not the point of this video. I just want to take this and translate it. In fact, let's see if it even builds. I don't see any red squigglies, but it looks like build succeeded. So this is totally legal in the comprehensive syntax. Drop as many where's as I want to, and then an order by, and then select. I believe, if I remember right, where has to, like, order by is very close uh, to the end, but maybe not. Let's see, order by 8. Let's, um... Oh, it still worked. Okay. So I guess we can order and then where and so on and so forth. Anyway, there's other things we can do in here, grouping and, and that kind of stuff we'll see in future videos. But here's a big, long example, and I'm going to pull this apart or translate it the way the compiler does, just so you can see the pattern. Okay? So first thing I'm going to do is copy this and paste it. So we have our original up here, and then result 2 is going to be the uh, next step in the translation process. Think for a minute if you can name that process. Okay, uh, the process or the next step is extension method syntax. So first thing the compiler does, if you remember, it looks at this and doesn't translate to anything. It just says, okay, n is our variable name, and numbers is our source. So let's comment that out. <coughs> and then we're going to say numbers is the source here, and then we see order by. So all the compiler does dot uppercase parenthesis variable name, which is n. Uh, order by oops, uh, n lambda. 8, parenthesis, okay, uh, this has to be an uppercase B as well, the compiler, when it sees order by it, uppercase is the O, and it also uppercase is the B, okay, then further on, it, it comes to this end parenthesis and inserts another dot, which I'm going to, instead of putting there, I'm just going to drop it down here, so dot, uppercase, parenthesis, variable name, arrow, parenthesis, and again, repeat, dot, uppercase, parenthesis, variable name, arrow, parenthesis, and I'm going to go all day long. Notice the compiler is not really interpreting what this query means. It's just literally changing the the letters and the dots here. Dot, uh, n, notice we don't even use n in this lambda expression here. I'm just saying new random next, and chances of getting a random number that's equal to 23 is pretty rare, but possible. Dot, uppercase O, it's an order by, so we uppercase the B as well, parenthesis, n, arrow, close parenthesis, dot, uppercase, uppercase, parenthesis, variable name, arrow, hopefully by seeing all these over and over again, you're catching on to the pattern of what the compiler is doing, or does, is just inserts a bunch of tokens here, uppercases, does some dots for us, so on and so forth, alright, and here is the first translation. This one is degenerate, the compiler will remove it, Okay. In fact, it probably removes it even before it gets that far. <sighs> okay, well, this is still sugar, and this is, this is just based on a bunch of extension methods. Numbers is an int, which is i enumerable, which is good for the order by in the enumerable class I showed. Let me hit F12 and take you back to here. We see order by is in enumerable. All right. Uh, and the, but this order by, look what this order by returns. If I order by, let me find it again. Uh, yep, order by it returns, and I, I ordered enumerable, and I bet if I F12 on this, um, 
we're going to see that it just is an extension of the innumerable interface. Okay, so which further can resolve? So this this whole what I've highlighted here returns an I innumerable, which can further be extended to where, which returns an I innumerable, which can be further extended to where, which returns an I innumerable, so on and so forth. Very repetitive pattern. All right. So there we go. Step one: extension methods all the way down. Well, let's go to static method syntax. This this is still sugar. The compiler still has some work to do. So the next step. I'm going to highlight all this, copy it, let's go down here, paste it, and of course I'm not going to get my uh, formatting, so I'll just, oh, control KD, nope, didn't do it. Let me uh, let me tab this in, and then I'm going to tab this in, there we go. And let's call this result 3, because we already have a result 2 right here, okay? So now we go, result 3, numbers, order by, okay, so watch this pattern now. The pattern is... Basically, an extension method, you just got to take what you're extending and paste it right here as the argument and drop a comma. All right? So I'm going to highlight, cut, enumerable, go to the parentheses, it's the first argument, paste, comma. All right? Well, we just got to repeat. Notice all this is just the source for the where method here, all right? So, so cut, enumerable. Go down here, paste comma. All right. Well, again, okay. So this is this is this first one here. This is static method call. We're good. Static method call. Uh, but then we have this dot where, which is dotting on. Oh, let me zoom out a little bit. Dotting on the return value of this whole thing. Okay, but that's just another extension method. So cut, enumerable, paste comma, and then repeat. Highlight the source, cut, <laughs> enumerable, paste comma. Yeah, it's getting kind of ugly, isn't it? It's a good thing we have extension methods, or else this would this would be hideous to write by hand all the time if our queries looked something like this. Where, where, order by, oh, it's ugly. But anyway, cut, enumerable, paste comma. Go back to the end. It's our source, cut. Enumerable, paste comma. Again, do it again. Cut, enumerable, paste comma. Whew. All right, now we're down to just static method calls. All right, no red squigglies. We're good. In fact, I'll build it. Build succeeded. All right, order by, order by, order by. Kind of in order to see what this query is really doing, you have to start at the innermost inner. And so the, we're going to take numbers and then order it by uh by eight here which is what we did originally i think let's go up here i can't remember yep order by eight okay useless but anyway numbers order it by eight and then we're going to wear on that where n's less than five and then we're going to wear on that result where n is greater than zero so on and so forth um one thing i'm going to do that i like to do when i do these translations is just uh, uh format it a little bit so let's go down here and uh, one one line's hard to read, but uh, I just got to keep putting these on new lines and going down another level of scope. Uh, let's see, order by numbers, numbers 8. Then this lambda expression goes with this where, so I'm going to keep it indented with that where's first argument here. Then this lambda expression actually goes with the where above it, so we're saying where, all this, this is the source for this where here. Uh, and and greater than zero, then this next lambda goes with the next enumerable, and whew, man, hopefully, hopefully you're feeling pretty good about extension methods and link now that we don't have to do all this ourselves because this would be hideous to write. In fact, I don't even think I'm aligned anymore on the, but uh, oh, I'm kind of aligned. Let's see if I go up. Yeah, I'm kind of aligned. Okay. Anyway, there you go. Whew. Wow. All right, but but don't let it hurt you too much. It's just that pattern of highlight, cut, paste, comma, highlight, cut, paste, comma, highlight, cut, paste, comma. As an exercise, if you really want to, and it'd be probably wor a little worthwhile, is to take all these lambda expressions because they're still sugar and translate them to normal methods because that's what the compiler does. Or that, or you could use the reflector if you're feeling lazy and don't really actually want to learn yourself by doing. But either way, this is this is a much larger complex. Uh, translation example, and we're going to see as we get into different clauses like group by and that kind of thing that uh, the translations get a little more interesting.